Hailing back from the days of Metarot R, it is the Zodiac Dragon and Serpent type. It is FGL0 Zigaru. With the kit of Fire Shot, Laser, Melt Shot, Float Legs, and the Leg Ability of Bullet Rain, which buffs the success and power of equipped shooting parts if the number equipped exceeds that of the targets. Now, Seaguru has been in the game for quite some time, but unfortunately to new players has been relatively untouchable for a while, given that she is an event reward. But for those that have been able to snag her, she has a rather unique kit that at first glance may not seem like much, but under the hood she most certainly is packing a lot of very dangerous and albeit rather rare skills that can be seen to and put to very good use. Fire Shot on the head is a shooting skill that basically is just a shooting version of fire. We have actually seen this attack a pretty fair number of times in recent, but simply explained, upon attacking the target it will rain hellfire on them, basically to the point it will inflict a damage over time effect, which means it may not break anything by itself, but it does mean it will slowly whittle the, the enemy's HP down over time and make it easier not just for her, but pretty much anyone behind her to finish the job much easier. Laser on the right arm is an optic attribute skill, meaning it will get a times 1.5 damage bonus at 30% charge and a times 2 bonus at 100% charge. And Melt Shot is basically the equivalent of Fire Shot as well, as it's essentially just a shooting version of Melt, and as of current is pretty much the only instance ever that this attack has been recorded as something available in game. But, simply explained, much like Fire Shot, it will also inflict a damage over time effect on the enemy, which means that they will slowly whittle their HP down over time and make them easier to kill. Now, something to mention with Fire and Melt, even if they aren't the most used elements and ailments in the game's history, given that damage over time has been known to not really will down a lot unless you can really easily stall them out, it is worth mentioning that much like Fire and Melt, Fire Shot and Melt Shot are two completely separate ailments, which means you can stack them for a double damage over time effect essentially, and slowly whittle their HP down even faster. Which means that it will synergize moderately well with Siguru's kit to a point, meaning that once you can get to the point you can break things, and with laser, such as say with a uh, hunter or sniper nature metal, she can essentially kind of build her own metaphor sustain to a point but it does kind of require her to keep the fight going without getting hammered too quickly. Float Legs means she will also have very good coverage across all terrains, as A rank across the board, and of course S rank on Cyber. And across the board, Seaguru is actually one of those models that isn't too bad in the armor department either, even if it is part for the course for female types. With a head HP of about 3100, arms about 2700 each, 20, yeah, 2750 each, and the legs at 3400 as well. Moderately healthy HP pool to be expected for female types, and even across the board, this actually isn't too shabby. Leg stats aren't too bad, but also to a point moderately well-rounded for what you'd expect. Leg, uh, leg mobility at packing about 663, which means pretty much par for the course again for float legs, but also not bad either, as she will be relying moderately heavily on the ability uh, for terrain bonuses or meta rotter bonuses or anything else the like to keep her speed up. An evade of 933 isn't too shabby either, we'll have a pretty decent time dodging or grazing attacks. A melee resist of 700 and a shoot resist of 968, they're not terrible but they're also not great either, but again she will be relying pretty heavily on the, on the terrain bonuses of 10% or more, as well as any meta rotter bonuses to keep her resistance and her leg stats up, to allow her to stay on the field as long as possible. Base power actually isn't too shabby to across all three parts, even if Melt Shot and Fire Shot are not capable of pierce damage, with, with Fire Shot packing about just shy of a thousand, and the Melt Shot packing a little over 1350, which isn't too bad, and Laser packing about 1250 also is very good, especially for it being non-heavy and a right arm no less, as another very consistent part you can use. This all being said, as a pure set score, I still do very have to very easily rate Seaguru a pretty solid 7 out of 10. A lot of folks may not have seen just what she might, might have been capable of in the anime, but when it comes to the game world as she made her grand re-debut, Seaguru actually is a model that synergizes strangely well with herself if you can build right for it. Again, Fire Shot and Melt Shot both will, will synergize and stack for a double DOT bonus, 
The Bullet Rain Leg ability will tie in very nicely as long as she can outgun the opponent with more shooting base parts, which she can do very easily with triple shooting, and Laser also for her more consistent damage deal out once she can start getting some Metaforce Charge going. As mixed parts, I do very easily have to rate her just a little higher at an 8 out of 10. Even though she may synergize with herself very well, it may be worth a shortcoming to mention that her leg stats are... Medi not to say mediocre, but decent at best, so not the greatest there is, but they're also passable if you do manage to raise them. So if you are able to maybe pair off her legs with something different and more accommodating, or even use the laser in particular on someone else that is shooting oriented, you could probably capitalize on Seaguru very nicely. The only real detriment to Fire Shot and Melt Shot is, again, even if you can double stack a DOT, anyone packing stat cleanse on the enemy team will most certainly render that null and void.